Hey guys, it's Queen Gija, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 11 of No Guns Life, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. Now see, why didn't you just go inside your office with a weapon? Or right, you could have just left and... Not bastard, more like bitch. Okay, with the fact that we only have one more goddamn episode because next week's the fucking finale, all I want to know is how the fuck are you going to be able to wrap this all up? Because it just seems like this show is still beginning and it feels like there's more to the story. But because of the fact is the show is only getting 12 fucking episodes, Instead of 24 fucking episodes, which you should have fucking got, I'm just saying. It's fucked up. Very fucked up. <laughs> I wanted 12 extra more weeks <laughs> with this damn cast. Oh. <sighs> Oh, cigarette. <laughs> Seven, hold on.
if nothing's in it. But see, hold up. We don't even know if he has an owner. Um, fuck, they not playing. Get the fuck out. You know what I mean? It's good. Oh, it's good. Stupid hair. I mean, you know, it, hey, if Ted's it over here, yeah, we could probably do something. But still, Chisel can still hold us on, kind of. I mean, he is right now. I'm just like, ugh. Boy. Man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's literally every girl watching this episode. <laughs> every time I do the song. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all of us. Every fucking girl watching the dance series. <laughs> oh. Okay. I knew she was going to be here. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you better go. No comment.
comment on that. Yeah, man, I gotta carry both of the asses. Sure. If she would be here. That's great. Hopefully the rest of this episode may tell us when he's gone more in the last one.
that could be an owner possibly. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's it all. It's so fucking sweet. I yell at him, my baby boy. <laughs> Be sorry, is that at all? I mean, well, we know Pepper just wants you to, because, you know, she, you know, not only is she lustful over you, she just wants you to want you. I mean, shit. Hold on, Cody. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. <laughs> you wouldn't have seen that chest if I would have been trying to get on too. Yeah, so besides, let him get some sleep.
That's all you're going to give me, a goddamn hand. Bitch, no, 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 uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> no, no, no. See, okay, we're technically, with the end of this episode, it just seems like we're starting a new arc. And because of the fact is we only got one damn episode left before we're done with this series, there is no way in hell that they're going to be able to wrap up this arc in, like, one fucking episode. See, this is why I wish this damn series was 24 episodes. It would have been so much fucking better. But, I mean, still, this episode was good. I mean, okay. The big elephant in the room was the dream that Juzo had about his past. And I think the guy, whoever, he was talking to him, he said partner. That had to be his owner. That had to be voiced by Mamoru, I'm guessing. I'm not 100% sure. I would have to look real quick. But it's a little weird that he has a dream about his past. Because, you know, we've all assumed, I assumed for a while, that, you know, Juzo never really had an owner, but for what it looks like, he has. And, I mean, that's interesting. But then it's like, what happened to his owner? Did he die, supposedly? Is he still alive? You know, there's a lot of unanswered questions that, you know, probably we'll never really get to see solved because we only got one fucking episode left, which is still fucked up. But it's like, how the fuck you gonna do it with one fucking episode left? How are you able, how are you going to be able to wrap up everything from episode one to episode 11 in one damn episode? Explain that shit. It's also weird how this guy wants him to look over a girl, to protect a girl who's being haunted by an extant ghost. And how in that, like, it, the one of the moments is like, he's not a priest. Okay, so here's the one thing I want to fucking know. Why the fuck didn't you go get a damn priest? I mean, it would have probably solved a lot more questions. Or, well, not even questions, fucking problems. Than going out and getting Juzo. Because, I mean, Juzo ain't got, he just lost a fucking arm. He only got an arm left. There's, like, so much that he could do. If anything freaking happens, yes, his number one priority is to protect this girl with the fact is now we have a freaking ghost, you know, after her and such. And I hope in this next episode, they do explain a little bit more on this ghost and why it's attached to this girl. Maybe this girl did something stupid. I mean, come on, Lucy, if you've seen any freaking horror movie, it's either a boy or a girl, but usually it's girls who either fuck up with a Ouija board, something, um with magic, whatever, and then next thing you know, you got a fucking spirit haunting your ass, and it's a bad spirit, and you ain't got nothing to do, so in the end, you gotta call the freaking higher-ups, the freaking priest, a church, something to come save your ass. No, y'all freaking call a damn guy, a fucking detective dude, to see if he can protect her, but you ain't call no damn priest, like, see, no, something about that rubbed me a little wrong, like, a wrong way, mm, something about that ain't right, okay, with Pepper, I, I feel like this isn't going to be the last time we see her, especially with her in Seven. There's going to be a point, maybe in this last episode, that we're going to have to see them again. I don't know how, but it, it's going to be something. I, I I don't know. But the fact that this girl, I mean, she a damn freak. You could just obviously fucking tell that she was. Came over, licked the shit out of Juzo, and just was like, this. Feel like... No, mm -mm, mm -mm. I mean, but like, don't get me wrong. She was telling the truth about the fact that she was 
talking about how she was wet. Like, she literally talked about every damn girl who has been attracted to Jizo ever since episode one. I mean, like I said, the first damn week when I watched this first show, when I watched the first episode, and I was on Twitter, and I was like, I'm now fucking attracted to a guy who, you know, has a gun for a head. I was like, yeah, I, I literally can't <laughs> rock bottom. I am, like, fucking trash. I am worse than trash. But, I mean, hey, you know what you do. Your fantasies are right there. <laughs> you don't know, like, what anime character you're gonna be fucking attracted to because one minute it could be, like, a really good handsome badass dude and the next thing you know it'll be a guy with a gun for his head and you're like mm, okay let me think about my decisions real quick but then you're like no i do that <laughs> but seriously i mean the episode was good there were a little slow parts in it but it was still a damn good episode just want to know more about the dream that he had and so i'm kind of hoping with this last episode next week that we at least get a little bit more something on his dream, but, you know, we ain't gonna know. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 11 of No Guns Life. If you guys enjoyed it, believe, give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the match squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for the finale. Bye, guys.